and welcome to another One Monroe Minute. Today we're going to be talking about the history of hinges. While the hinge's exact origin is unknown, it's believed to have been invented by ancient civilizations. The earliest known hinges date back to 1600 BC and were used in ancient Egyptian and Greek architecture. These hinges were typically made of bronze and consisted of two parts that were connected by a pin. During the Middle Ages, hinges were often made of iron and were designed to be strong and durable. The Industrial Revolution brought new materials and manufacturing techniques, which led to the development of new types of hinges, like piano hinges. Piano hinges are commonly made of steel and are longer than other types of hinges. Unlike other hinges, which offer a more narrow angle of rotation, continuous hinges are able to open 270 degrees. They are commonly found on oversized doors that are taller or wider than normal. In the 20th century, hinges continued to evolve with the introduction of new materials such as stainless steel, aluminum, and plastic. This led to the development of new types of hinges such as butt hinges and spring hinges. A butt hinge is a type of hinge with a pair of identical leaves. They typically feature a wider knuckle which allows their two leaves to sit flush when the butt hinge is closed. Butt hinges are the most common types of hinges and they can accommodate heavier objects. Spring hinges are built with a spring mechanism that enables a door to automatically close behind you. They're a popular option in hospitals, restaurants, and schools. Hinges have come a long way since their early bronze ancestors, and they continue to be an essential component in many different industries and applications. One Monroe offers a wide variety of hinges to suit your specific needs. Get in contact with one of our sales engineers today to see how we can help. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on our One Monroe Minute.